Hello everyone, welcome to Vegan Voila. I am Lena. Today I'm going to show you how to make the best authentic Mexican guacamole ever. When it comes to guacamole, it's a great day for the parties, family gatherings, and even lunch boxes on a daily basis. And just like me now, if you have a bit of overripe avocados, you can turn them into a great guacamole dish. It's so easy to make and so tasty, you won't be disappointed. Are you ready? Let's jump into it. You will need two small avocados. If you have big avocados, then you can use only one. Medium size, then one and a half. And half lime squeezed again. If you like a little more acidic taste, definitely you can add more lime. Well, if you really want to make authentic Mexican guacamole, definitely you not going to replace this with anything but if you only have lemon then definitely you can use lemon instead but it makes a huge difference also tomato i will use half if you want to use more definitely you can use more of that too and one of the secrets to making a great guacamole is using a red onion rather than a brown onion actually many people are using brown onion you think of that why we use a pretty much red onion for salad there's a reason for it and it has a nice kick to it and also it has a sweet a flavor at the same time do you know what i mean so make sure you use red onion and um, a pinch of salt to a quarter teaspoon of salt and to do a three tablespoons of coriander leaves or cilantro leaves that's all we need let's get started the first thing first just cut the avocados cut it in half first this way Okay, they are really, really nice and soft. Scoop it out with your spoon. In Mexico, you know, they use pestle and mortar, but I'm gonna use a potato masher or even you can use a fork. Okay, so in terms of texture, if you like a creamier texture, definitely, you know, you can make it a bit smoother and if you like a chunkier texture definitely you can make it a bit chunkier i'm not going to mash it too much and dice the onion okay dice tomato as well Finely chopped coriander leaves. Squeeze half lime. And then um, pinch of salt. That's it. Now you just mix it really well. By the way, many people use garlic, but garlic in the authentic recipe, it's not required. And I don't think I would love to add garlic. You don't need to do this spiral on this. But and then re-enter on top. This is the final result. Doesn't this look gorgeous? You can serve this with gluten-free chips or any whole grain biscuits, crackers. So I'm just gonna take a little bite here. Mmm, so good. If this video is being helpful to you, please hit the like and subscribe button so it can spread to more people. Thanks for watching. Do join me next time.